Welcome everybody to another 144 and 360. In this one, we're going to call it uh, the Dow Futures Top at 33,700. 33, we'll tell you why in a minute. And then we're going to take a look at the uh, Nove beans. Uh, not much time left in them, but just show you the similarities or the the same rules, same guidelines, and how they work in two totally different markets. Uh, we, we've in our previous uh, videos and even on the blog, we've gone over you know all of these other previous highs and lows uh, from the all-time high when here we hit 23 percent to the 2020 low, went 61.8 back, came off from there, went 38 back up here, went down to 38 percent of the 2020 low, uh, went 23.6 percent back failed to make that new low and this is a, a sign that you can look for or just a pattern that happens uh, uh, an awful lot of tops and bottoms that you hit a retracement and fail to follow through with that new low and those come from 23 percent and 38.2 so when it went to 78.6 this is where you get a lot of these it, when they hit these levels uh, on that failure to make that new higher low it usually turns the market pretty big and in this case it took it all the way to 61.8 back to the all-time high uh, 61.8 rule telling you you should go 61.8 again we did uh, we were looking for 61.8 back up, but as always, we watch all the retracements, see how weak or strong the market is. 38 back is all it could do, down to new lows. Took us under 38% to the 2020 low. So now we're watching the retracements up above to see if anything's going to change. 23% back to the all-time high, took it, failed to make that new low, spikes under that 78.6, also playing on a major GAN square here. Uh, what that did is sent that thing all the way up through 38% to the all-time high and right to 78.6 of this high here. So the setback from there, 23%. So going and held a major GAN square right in here. Uh, now this is where we're saying the 33,700 top coming in the Dow or the possibility of it is that that is 61.8 what we would really like to see is that the market one gets up to this area and two the best sign for a top would be that it closes back under this 33 320 call it uh, major gan square if you can get something like that our target following the 144 61.8 rule would take a 61.8 the other way and that would be down here around 30 1,500. Obviously, that level's going to move up if we do get up in here and we don't just break from this major GAN square. So that's how we view these things. We look at 61.8, and if there is no turn from here, our next level is 78.6, which is in the same area or in a general area of a major GAN square. So this was what will be if there is no turn. But if you get that turn, you know we'll be looking for 61.8 there. Now, when we go to the no beans, not much time left here in all of this, and, and that's just fine, but we're going to show you why, you know, we're following the exact same rules and guidelines based on all of this. We hit the all-time, or uh, the long-term swing point back here in July, 61.8, to 61.8, to 78.6, to 78.6. If you've been following us, you know those are the things you'd be looking for. Up here, 78.6, the failure to make that new high, comes back to 61.8 where it sat on it for the month of October, and that took us up what we were looking for, 61.8 the other way. So right now, we're going to watch that same thing, and here we have 61.8 down here, at, call it 1395, uh, we're up at 14. 44 right now again thin market not much there but still the the rules and the guidelines it are exactly the same no matter what market you're trading and this 61.8 turn lower from here should send us to that 1395 if you happen to trade the grains 
Uh, please give us a look. These are the uh, rules and guidelines we use along with our major GAN squares and our grain weekly updates. We've also included now hogs and cattle in that. And uh, please stay tuned. Look for our other videos. We're going to be trying to knock these out once a week with uh, something to look forward to going forward on the right side of the screen. And as always on the left, just show you what's been happening and why and what to look for and what we're looking for going forward based on those same rules. So until next time, good trading.